September 30th, 2021. Dear Mr. Schaefer and Mr. Phillips, I have had the opportunity to review and discuss with agents and experts the information you provided at the meeting you requested a few months back. Additionally, this week, Assistant Director John Melvin and I met with the FBI to review the entirety of their case file, which consisted of a mirrored image of the hard drive, purportedly from Texas, that had been turned over to them. The mirrored hard drive contained the contents of commercially available cell site location information, CSLI, which, according to our discussion, through the vote purchased for the time frame of October 1st, 2020 through January 5th, 2021, someone had called down the 25 terabytes of information representing 1.2 trillion mobile signals to provide its spreadsheets under the following headings. ACLID USA 2020 December 12 appears to be the associated actors. Atlanta drop boxes and days of interest. Devices within 100 feet of org or drop box by day. Georgia 279 devices nationwide, 10-1-2020 to 1-5-2021. Georgia devices of interest 1-14-2021.csv. Georgia drop box locations output copy. TDTV Georgia 207 of 209 devices pass one address. UPS locations. Specific to the Georgia election, the file Georgia Devices of Interest is a spreadsheet listing approximately 1,048,575 mobile device identification numbers and their geolocation from October 1, 2020 to January 5, 2021. Of those data points, the spreadsheets identified 279 cell phones which had made multiple trips to within 100 feet of a voter drop box. Other spreadsheets and documents provided tie these cell phones through geolocation to various organizations. What has not been provided is any other kind of evidence that ties these cell phones to ballot harvesting. For example, there are no statements of witnesses and no names of any potential defendants to interview. Saliently, it has been stated that there is a source that can validate ballot harvesting. Despite repeated requests, that source has not been provided to either the GBI or to the FBI. As it exists, the data, while curious, does not rise to the level of probable cause that a crime has been committed. For the GBI to get the same CSLI information you provided, we would need to obtain a search warrant based on such probable cause. We cannot make that showing with what has been provided. As such, based on what has been provided and what has not been provided, an investigation is not justified. Sincerely, Victor Reynolds, Director.